All right, hey, I want to make a quick video to to show something I've been doing with GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 and LLMs in general. So this is the Earthly blog or my local version of it. And we have articles on it about Earthly, but also lots about other topics, right? Like here's a bash article. And, you know, we make these articles because we want to give back to the community, but also just, you know, to tell people about Earthly, you know, bash users might like earthly and so we've been adding these little things on the top it says you know we're earthly hopefully you find this bash information really useful but also take a look at earthly this is a very casual like advertisement inside the article better than some banner that nobody would look at and i, I don't know i kind of like the tone but then it was my idea so maybe that makes sense here's my here's my vs code for the earthly website which is open source by the way, the problem with adding all of these, right, is like there's 342 articles that we've written and like we kind of want them to be personalized, right? It, this isn't just saying check out Earthly, like it, it ties the topic of the article back to Earthly because like we write about topics for a reason because we think that people who are trying to decide between OpenShift and Kubernetes, you know, maybe Earthly would be interesting to them. And, and there's interesting things to teach, but there, there's usually some connection topic wise. And so like, it's not just copying, pasting or including a boilerplate thing. We want this to be customized. Here's the article. And the other thing is that on the blog, the, the text that shows up here, the top couple lines of the text of the article shows up here. So once we start adding all those topics, like we don't want it to say we're earthly everywhere, right? And so, yeah, this is where LLMs come in because I need to, I've already done it here, but I need to include an excerpt in my markdown for the article to show in that first part so that it doesn't just grab this. And the, the easiest way to do that is to just use an LLM. That's the easiest way I thought of. We need one, want to summarize this article and explain uh, how it works, right? So, so starting off with the excerpt, the easiest thing to do is to just feed this article to ChatGPT. Right, And the way I am doing that is using this SGPT. So SGPT is shell GPT. You could just download it. And then at, at your shell, you just type SGPT and give it a query. So if I say, what's Git? And it's like, oh, Git's like source control, but not as good as CVS or subversion. It can answer that, right? The reason that's helpful for my task is uh, you can compose it. So I, if I do like cat post, I can get the content of my article and I can pipe that in to this GPT command and give it a prompt that says, here's a post to markdown. I need a two sentence summary. Learn the key differences between blah, blah, blah. And this is pretty handy because you can do this also. Like you could do a git diff sgpt. What would a commit message be for changes. You can do that too. What will it say? Update content and blog post with top CTA. That's true, but we haven't we haven't gotten to that. Anyways, SGPT, pretty handy, right? It, you can just run things at the command line. And so I can take this, I can add it back as an excerpt here, but there's too many of them to do that. So I, I just put together this program, which I call excerpt, right? Excerpt takes in a file or a whole directory, and then it calls this add excerpt to MD file, and here's my command, right? Word wrap. So it's gonna run SGPT, give it the prompt, and get, get back a summary, which I'm, I'm getting here from standard out. And then, bingo, bango, somewhere here you can see, I'm just adding it in to the file. If it, there's a couple conditions here, because if I've already done one, oh yeah, here I wanna replace, here I wanna add in. But yeah, this makes it easy, for me to do something like this. Here's my excerpt, right? So I run this, and then if we go back, bam, it added an excerpt. Learn the differences between blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that part is pretty easy. I can then give it a directory too, because where I am here, it's like blog, posts, I can do that. And it'll start like going through each article, right? And adding in the excerpt and that, let's see. All right, so now it's adding them in. Learn how blue green deployment, Spinnaker, learn how Spinnaker works. And 
it takes a little bit because these LLM endpoints can be a bit slow, but, but that'll add in all the excerpts for all my articles. I'm going to stop that. That's the easy part. Okay, now we need to do this part. I want to write this. So parts of this are the same. Where earthly, we make building software simpler using containers. But then this part is unique to the article, right? We want to connect the content of the article to earthly. So, you know, pair it with Spinnaker for an even smoother Kubernetes deployments. Because Spinnaker does the deployments, Earthly can do the building, could work well together. So we want to write something like that ad hoc. So for that, I made this top CTA program, right? Let's put on my word wraps again. So I start off very similar to the other thing. I, I give it this prompt, I feed it the article, and I say, I need a three word summary in the form of this article is about dot, 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 right? This article is about large scale builds. This article is about Python lists. So I'm giving it a couple examples. This is like close to few shot, which is a, a, a prompting technique for LLMs. So I, I give it that. And from that, I get back a sentence that hopefully will be something. I mean, this isn't a great example, but you can imagine a sentence here that's like this. Article is about X and Y, right? So you have that, and then you have a connecting sentence here, which kind of connects the first sentence to the second sentence. So to do that one, we have another prompt that says, I need a very short sentence explaining why Earthly would be interesting to readers of this article, blah, 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 blah. So I, I run that as well, and I give it the article as well. I put this whole thing together as a template. And so... You give that a try. This is what happened. I was doing this yesterday. You give that a try and it, it generates, here's an example. It, it generates these things that are really long that I hate. We're earthly, we make building software simpler and therefore faster. Like that, okay, that part was set. This article is about five blogs for Scala's birthday. Earthly is a powerful tool, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's way too long, right? Like, I just want to say like, hey man, or, or lady, uh, hey person, let's go with person. Uh, you're using Scala, you might like this article. You could use Earthly with Scala. We like it, right? I want it to be more casual. So I rewrote this, right? Here's my version of it, right? We're Earthly, we make building software simpler and therefore faster. Earthly is a tool that can be used with Scala. Same, here's another one. We make building software. They're simpler and faster. This article is about matplotlib, blah, blah, blah. It's way too long, right? So I just, I wrote one that said like, not let's not talk about matplotlib, let's just say Python, right? If you're building things in Python, Earthly actually works really well because you, you have like Linux level dependencies. Anyways, here's why this matters. Because I can teach GPT-4 from this. I'm now going to tell it uh, using few shot learning. Uh, few shot learning is the idea that instead of just saying do X, you say do X. Here's an input and here's the output I'd like to receive. Here's an input and here's the output I'd like to receive. Okay, here's my new input. You go right? So I'm basically going to feed it these examples where it rewrote things to be shorter. That was actually me. And I'm going to say, now you do it, right? And the way I'm doing that, I'm using this Microsoft guidance library. Where is it? Import guidance, which, which lets you use like kind of handlebars to put these things together. And so I put together this big query, right? I'm like, here's my system message, which tells the LLM how to act. And I'm like, Here's some things to know about Earthly because it needs to connect them. And then I say, here's a task, right? A shortened version of this call to action. And then uh, I'm going to give it these examples. So this is the few shot. So that's the end of my system message. And then I say, for each example uh, up here, I have an input and an output. And I say, like, here, here we did. The user provided this input. And then the assistant gave that output, uh, however many there is. And then I say, like, okay, now your turn. And the input I give it is the one that's just been written above. So I'm asking it to improve upon itself. So given that, given those inputs, it can come up with a better way to write it, but we can take it one step further by doing like a polling of experts, right? So instead of asking for a single answer here with options, I ask for seven. I, I don't know why seven just seemed like a good number. And then I set the temperature, which can be between zero and one. Zero is like, pick the most obvious answer. One is like, just go completely random. And so we're leaning really heavy on the random side. 
So I'm saying, give me seven random ways that you would rewrite this to make it better. Let's try that out, right? So that we can see how this works. So I'm gonna delete this. You'll see, it's pretty awesome. So let's run this, right? So we're running on that OpenShift Kubernetes article. Here's all the prompting we're sending in, right? Write a shortened version of this call to action and see it's generating a bunch of options. Here they are. Option one, let's just skip to the second sentence. If you're exploring container orchestration options, you'll find Earthly a valuable tool for container builds. That's pretty good. If you're exploring container orchestration options, yeah, that's very close. If dealing with Kubernetes or OpenShift is your thing, I like this your thing, it's kind of casual. Earthly could be your best friend. Love it, that's my vote, right? Okay, the next thing that happens is we need to pick one of those, right? Instead of us picking it, we're just gonna ask the LLM to pick it as well. So we do a chain of thought prompting. Basically, we ask the LLM to think out loud what it thinks of these responses, go one by one and come up with an answer of what it likes. So here it does that. So it's like option one, this is concise. This is also concise. Give us a try, it might sound pushy. It says, I don't know about that. See, here it put the phrase, your new best friend, might sound a bit overstated. Also implies that Earthly helps deploying applications, which it doesn't really. Anyways, so this is cool, right? We ask it to go through and come up with what it thinks of each of the options that it came up with. And then at the very end, we have this, please return the text of the best option. So after coming up with all its thinking, it's like, okay, well, what, what did you pick, right? And then that's what we return, right? And that's what we put in the thing. And this is what we got in that run. We make building software simpler and simpler. If you're exploring different container orchestration options, don't overlook the importance of a solid build tool. Earthly simplifies the building and deploying of container dies up. I think it's pretty solid, right? I, I like that best friend one, but, but this is pretty good. Yeah, so this is a, a way to use LLMs because I did have to go through and make sure each of these made sense because sometimes it would go off in a strange direction or it would say that Earthly did things that it didn't but it's a lot easier to edit something like this and make sure it's correct than to write these all from scratch yourself. And then, so then I, I just ran this across all of the articles. It took quite a while because of all the, you know, the back and forth and the experts, but it allowed me to put together this, this PR, which is giant. I think there's like 258 new excerpts. So somebody's gonna have to review these. Probably Josh, I feel bad for him. But yeah, this is how you can use ChatGPT or LLMs programmatically to, to help with a, a writing task that's a bit repetitive, but still, you know, needs to be custom. And you can find all this because Earthly is like the Earthly blog. Earthly tool is open source, but the Earthly blog is also open source. So you can find, you know, here's my excerpt code. You will soon see the top CTA code once Josh reviews and merges this. Yeah, so that is doing something fun. With LLMs, you need a GPT API key to do that and Microsoft Guidance and some Python, but it's pretty fun. Fun tool to play with. I think we're all, you know, still trying to figure out how it all works.